we're back here in the garage working on the 64 VW dune buggy going to start stripping all the bits and pieces out of the pan getting everything pulled back so we can strip it out and clean it all up just popping the front cover off here we Getting ready to open that up a little bit more. Cut some of that metal back so we can clean out the inside of that channel. Running down the middle. Rerun our brake lines and fuel lines and throttle cable and everything else down through the middle of the channel. Get rid of these funky things like brake lines that have been wound back and forth when the shortening of this pan took place years back. Uh, gonna start pulling the old master cylinder and the pedal setup, shifter, brakes. Get all that gone so the pan can be opened and cleaned out. All right, so here we are a little ways into it. Started stripping out all the brake lines from the master cylinder. Pulled out this main one that ran all the way to the rear end here. Cut it loose at the three-way splitter. There's the old tweaked out old brake line. Uh, pulled the flex lines and wrapped them up in plastic bags to keep them from getting any crap down into them. Helped keep everything good. Pulling the rest of this last little piece of brake line off and then break the master cylinder loose and take it out completely. And then we'll start pulling that pedal assembly apart. Alright, so there it is, our last brake line. Pulled three. Got two bolts in the master cylinder after pulling it out of here. Old and rusty. Ready to go, bye bye. Alright, so now the next thing. Let's get after. See if we can pull loose that pedal assembly. Get it out of the bottom of this thing. Well, it wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. It seemed to come out of there pretty quick and easy, although it's nasty in there. This old thing looks. Pretty well rusted up and in need of a serious cleaning. See what we can do about that at a later date. Alright, that's one more out of the way. Hoping I can pull that little bolt pin there in the back end and release that hinge and take the pedal out. And then see about the shifter. All right, see you guys in a little while. Okay, here we are. Removed the shifter, dropped it down here. Came to the rear end, disconnected the shifter linkage from the back end of the transaxle. And then very slowly with this fine pair of forceps here, twisted and shimmied the shaft through this little teeny hole here all the way to the front and down to where I could finally get a hold of it as you can see it hanging out the end here from let me get the flashlight here again and I'll get a little light on where we had to fish it out of this tiny little hole here in the front so this has taken a huge amount of effort but there it is Hanging out the end here, ready to be done with. Okay, no more shifter and shifter linkage. On to the next pieces. I'm sure the shot down the center shaft of this thing is horrifyingly out of focus. <laughs> but I spent an hour and a half tearing old disused brake line, an old disused fuel line, 
out of inside of that shaft going down the middle of this thing pulled out the old clutch cable right there as well cleared everything out so that now the only tubes going through there are the lead for the next shifter cable and the throttle cable which is still in place hoping you're going to be able to port through the side of the shaft up here and run the rest of my brake lines to the rear down the inside of that shaft as well so that's where he got in the last hour and a half you didn't have to watch <laughs> all right here we are again see these essential tools here and Hold these rear spring clips to release these rear flex brake lines, which are now wrapped up in plastic. Disconnected our three-way splitter and the two rear hard brake lines. And all the way. And that, except for the two cables leading to the emergency brake. Is all that's connected up to the rear end. Now we just got the suspension, torsion bars, and the brackets holding the tranny in place. And the whole rear end will come free. Not sure how quickly we're going to get to that because I think I want to keep it sitting as it is while I work through the rest of the pan. Cleaning it off and stripping it back, getting all this black rubbery tar crap from the sound dampener in the days of old stripped away. Clean up a bunch of this rust, fix some of these holes up. Whew. Been a lot of work, but we're moving forward. See where we're at the next time around.